Fado Ahmed. I have two brothers and five sisters. I'm left together with my mom. My family left in Ethiopia before immigrating to the United States. My family came to the United States to find opportunities and accomplish our lifelong dreams, a reality, without our backgrounds, ideas, upbringings, and gender being a hindrance to our success, unlike back in Ethiopia. We imagined the American dream in which the possibilities were unlimited. My American dream was to attend college. In 2015, my family arrived in the United States in hopes of making our American dream a reality. When we arrived, everything was different. I saw snow for the first time, which felt like I was in a fairy tale. I learned that football is now called soccer. The month was written for the day, feet was used instead of meters, and there were squirrels everywhere. But most importantly, I now had to learn English. The only English words which I knew were hi and bye, which were not very helpful in learning and making new friends. By attending language classes and conversing with others, I was able to learn English in one year, making it become my fourth language. Adjusting to a new country a community was very difficult as it felt like a new world in sense of finding a place to belong. My English teacher had always helped me in providing me support and going out of her way to always support me. By reaching out to people, I was able to grasp the stories, ideas, and the opportunity that this new place had to offer. My family, friends, teachers, and mentors were all part of my journey. That helped me find a community, individuality, belonging, and integration to other cultures. My dream of attending college would not be a reality, which would not have been possible if I was still in Ethiopia. I had always aspired to attend college, as it would have allowed me to endeavor for change in our society. I want to major in a career that's in healthcare as I have always desired to help my community and people in need, which is why I decided to attend the University of Minnesota, as it would allow me to create the pathway to achieving my dreams. After four years of living in the United States, I have learned that overcoming the struggles of finding a place in the world can be a trial and error process, but it takes bravery, vulnerability, open-mindedness, and reaching out to others in which we can truly find who we are and the place we belong.